I'm Rebecca and I have a question for you. What is 17% of 341? Well, if this problem th is throwing you off, then this video is for you. The thing about percents, and a lot of people don't know this, but the percent symbol actually stands for a number. That number is 0 0.01. So when we see the number 17%, that really means 17 times 0 0.01, which if you multiply that out, it becomes 0.17. So I have a bunch of examples of this here, um, just so you can see how percents get converted into decimals. All we're doing here is moving the decimal two places over. So 37% becomes 0.37. 9% becomes 0.09. So again, moving to two decimal places over, or um, as you can see here, it's always multiplying by that 0 0.01. Now, if we can write percents as decimals, then we can also write decimals as percents. So here we've got another couple examples. I didn't write these out ahead of time, but 0.38 would be 38%. 0 0.25 is 25%. 1.01. So we can have percents that are higher than 100. So this one would be 101%. 3%. And then here we've got 0.5. So again, that's where you've got to think of moving that decimal place over 2 to get 50%. And if you think about it, 50% is exactly half, just like 0.5 is the same as a half. So um, now that you're a pro at converting between decimals and percents back and forth, let's go back to our original question. So the original question said, what is 17% of 341? Well, now we know that 17% is really just 0.17 when we multiply times 0.01. And now to find 17% of 341, all we have to do is multiply this 0.17 times 341. It's really that simple. So if we pull out a calculator, we can multiply that out. Give me a sec here to pull it up. 0.17 times 341 equals 57.97, and that's our answer. That's it. So we've got several other examples of this, um, and I just want to point out one other thing here, where anytime our percent is less than 100, when we multiply that by this 341 in this case, um, it always makes it go down. So you see how all of these answers are less than 341, and that's because it's some portion of 341, not the full 100%. But then if our percent is higher than 100, that's when it causes this answer to be higher than 341. So it, it has that effect depending on whether your percent is less than 100 or more than 100. And finally, we have a final question. This is more of like a word problem. 305 is 14% of what number? Well, to answer this, it's kind of helpful to think about how we set up equations. And in math, the word is always stands for the equal sign. So is means equal. So we could translate this whole thing as 305 equals and then for the 14%, we know we can convert that to a decimal, 0.14. And then the of what number? Well, in math, anytime there's a number that we don't know, we can replace it with a variable, like X or really any other letter. So we can replace this whole of what number with the variable X. And now we have an equation that represents this relationship where now all that we have to do to solve for x is divide both sides by that decimal, 0.14. So when we divide 305 by 0.14, all right, let me pull up my calculator again. 
we end up with this answer for x of 2178.57. Now, maybe you were expecting the number to go down, thinking, oh, 40% of 305, it's gonna be small. But remember, this is really 14% of 2178 that equals 305. So that's a good way to check and make sure that you've plugged everything in in the right spots is thinking about, okay, we're looking for 14% of this really big number and that has to equal 305. So keep on practicing those percents and you'll be a pro in no time.